So, okay. Yeah. The variables can be shown in a task or RTM level, right? That part we see in it. And if we create a UA policy or a client script, the same UA policy or a client script will work also in the RTM and task level. Correct? If you check it or if you uncheck it. That was the last yes. point we discussed, right? So let's say, see here, uh, this is little important. Because generally, you can also tell like this. We did this actually. So almost all the catalog items, task level, RATM level, we made it read only so that people will not accidentally click it. There are, okay, so see, I created one small onload client script. Okay, the client script with only one line of code, right? So see, see here. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah, onload client script, 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 script. Yeah, test message. No, it's not a test message. Where did I create? No. No, 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 no. I created one more. One second more. Catalog client scripts. And 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 and. Mm -hmm. Variable read only yes on which which item on which item I did on request variable set level I did okay I think I did it on only variable set level <coughs> very good okay but whatever it is see here the applications you see okay here what I created is Okay, I created one simple code, right? The code is, right, just to read the code, ma. Variable read only, on load, variable set, okay? Applies on, not on the form, you see it. I didn't check the form thing, but I checked in RATM and task thing, okay? And then, G form set variables read only equal to true, I said, okay? So, wherever you add this variable set, okay, and then if you open the RTM or a task, okay, see here, maybe the task also or RTM also, on loading the form, okay, this particular fields will become read only. You seen it, ma? Yes, no? Okay, it's user, yes, sir. user cannot change it, okay? So that's what I, I tried on that day when the class, yes, class is completed. Can we go back to the, can we go back to that, sir? One second, ma. Let's see. I think I did something else also, where I need to find it out. Ah, tell me, ma. Go back to uh, script. The catalog item. Yes, sir. Uh, applies to, can you click on applies to? Mm-hmm. Left. Um, the field. This one. No, no, on the left. Place to field. Place to. Place to. Yeah. No, I mean. Huh. This is the catalog item level. Okay, we are. Oh, it's it, only variable set level. Okay, so wherever the we use the variable set, it applies. Mm -hmm. Any catalog item. Mm -hmm. Wherever this variable set is added, that everywhere it will work. Right, this part I did it. Okay, so now you can keep this one. Okay, it's a very simple one, but very good one. RATM level, task level, by the definition wise, you no need to make it read only. False. Why? Because if you open it now, so user submit with some values, and user can uh, custom normally end users who are working on the ticket, they can change it. If they change it, the request definition will completely change. Correct? Yes or no? I raise it for one, you change it for some other. Which is wrong, no? Yes, sir. 